Hello and welcome to a new episode of Inside the Song. This is Andre Tonelli and as always in this series, I'll use one of my songs to show you the real life application of a musical idea or concept that I think you'll find useful and helpful in your development as a musician and as a composer, as an improviser and all these other facets that we kind of have to cover if we want to improve with our instruments. Today's song is going to help us understand a skill that is extremely useful, which is to play or to improvise or compose over a very simple chord progression. So simple, in fact, in this case, that it's just an E5, a power chord. That's all there is to it. And uh, the thing in this song is that I'm holding on to different chords and other devices for the rest of the song. I come from a pretty strong intro and then I want to bring it down for the verse. But bringing stuff down doesn't mean it has to be, of course it shouldn't be, boring or predictable. So you still want to be able to create interesting and compelling ideas even if the progression is in this case only one chord. Before we dive into it, let me just play the song for you. This song is called Upside Up and it's from 2019's Mystic Electric. That's the album it's from. And uh, here it goes. So as you can see, it is only one chord and it goes on for quite a bit. Uh, the first thing I did to kind of navigate this was to actually limit myself even more. So I decided to not give away if the progression, or it better said the melody, was built over a major or a minor key. So as you can see, the, the whole thing in the beginning that goes like this, All that, and it repeats twice, never goes to a G or a G sharp. Now, we are in E, that's a key. If I play a G sharp, that will give it away as major. And if I play a G natural, that will give it away as minor. So I'm holding on to those Gs and saving them for later, which might be a bit risky because I'm already working with the minimum, right? Because I only have one chord. But there's a few tricks that I use. First of all, I start on a note that's on the second degree of the scale. If I'm in E, I don't start in E. That E is a very peaceful and restful note. So if I start there, I will kind of have to build up the momentum again and then work with it. So I start with the F sharp. And that gives me already, it's kind of like starting uphill, right? And it's easier to kind of roll down the hill than having to climb up first. So I'm already starting at the top or close to the top. And then I land on the E. But there's another note that's quite interesting, which is this major sixth, which is in the case of E, it's a, D, it's a C sharp. Now there are two scales that have a C, sharp. there are many scales, but of the simple ones, there are two scales. One is the Mixolydian scale, and one is the Dorian scale. And they're pretty much the same scale, but the difference between them is that one of them is major and one of them is minor. So their difference is if they have a G sharp or a G natural, which I just said that I'm kind of holding on to. So I'm giving you this information, but I'm not telling you if it's major or minor. So until the second half of the verse, you don't quite know if I'm kind of doing something that's happy. Am I doing something that's gonna be sad? You don't know because I'm not telling you, right? So the second part, when we build it up a little more, how do we do that? Well, you remember I said that I started on the second degree? Well, for the second part, I'm starting from the sixth degree. I'm sorry, from the fourth degree, from A. So I'm in E. First part starts here. The second part starts here. You hear that? It's already up. So now I'm starting from even higher, right? Up the hill. And then I do something that's quite interesting. I do get that G and tell you which one it is. And in this case, it's a G sharp. So I'm telling you, hey, everything you heard before, 
now you can feel kind of happy about it because it's a G sharp. And that's when I do this. Right? This phrase has the G sharp, which kind of makes it happy. But then, again, to add even more movement, I go to the G natural. So I go from major to minor, or better said, from Mixolydian to Dorian. And I do this. Right? So all together with the G sharp. And then I go down. So I have both the G sharp and the G natural. When I go to the G natural, it starts sounding like Dorian, it starts sounding like a pentatonic scale, the blues scale, so it, it works. And then I go back again to the lower string. And this time I do start on, start on the E, because I want all the build up to slowly resolve and to bring it down even more. And then, you know, the chorus comes in and it's, it's a lot of fun and it explodes a bit more, right? So even though it seems like I'm just improvising on very simple scales and notes over a very simple chord progression, uh, you're always conscious of it. And all this stuff that I'm explaining today is not something that I thought of when I was writing the song. I was just jamming and improvising. But your musical ear, if you get used to this stuff, it will go there naturally. So you can notice that maybe something is missing. Maybe the melody is a bit flat. Maybe the song doesn't breathe and maybe something is not going the way it should. And uh, that's how you know how to fix it. It doesn't mean that you have to logically and explicitly think about this. It's just something that's in your head and in your ear when you play. So do imp improvise with this, do explore it, you know, do uh, play with it, really. That's what we do. And then eventually it will be another tool in your toolbox. I hope you enjoyed the video and found the idea interesting and exciting and that you will go out there and practice it and implement it into your own music. I look forward to your results. Please let me know in the comments how it goes. And if you enjoy this, please do subscribe and like because this will help the videos reach a lot more people and maybe benefit their musical development. All right, thank you very much and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>